Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel and in today's session, we'll understand about another important linked list type which is a circular doubly linked list. Now as the name suggests, circular doubly linked list were developed as an extension of a doubly linked list. Now in a doubly linked list, each node has a pointer to both the next as well as the previous nodes allowing for efficient traversal in both directions. However, the first and last nodes do not have a previous and next node respectively, which can cause some complications in certain applications. This is where circular doubly linked list were introduced as a solution to this problem. So in this tutorial, we'll understand all about circular doubly linked list, what it is and how does it work in detail and also its implementation using C++ in Visual Studio Code. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before we begin, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So before getting into the execution part, let us just quickly understand what a circular doubly linked list is. Now a circular doubly linked list is a more advanced version of a singly linked list or a doubly linked list in which it has the added features than that of the both singly as well as the double linked list. So you can say it is a hybrid of doubly as well as a circular linked list. Now the last node, uh, the next pointer points back to the first node in the uh, circular doubly linked list. Similarly, the first node's previous pointer points to the last node, completing the circle in a circular doubly linked list. So you can say it is uh, basically a hybrid version of uh, doubly as well as a circular link, linked list. Now let's move ahead and understand how does a circular doubly linked list work. Now there are two nodes that are connected or linked together by previous as well as the next pointers, right? So you can say each node has two pointers, one that points to the next node in the list and another that points to the previous node in the list. So in a circular doubly linked list, the first node's previous pointer points to the last node and the last node's uh, next pointer points to the first node forming a circular loop. And similarly, it also has a data field which stores the value within the node. This means the list uh, can be traversed in both the direction in a circular doubly linked list that is from beginning to the end or from the end to the beginning. So now comes the main question. Now we also have a doubly linked list, we have singly linked list, we have circular linked list. But why do we need circular doubly linked list uh, of all these uh, linked lists that we have discussed earlier. Now, one of the advantages of a circular doubly linked list is it allows for efficient traversal in both direction, as well as a constant time access to both first as well as the last node. So, it has various uh, advantages like uh, you can see here, it has an efficient traversal in both direction. Now, since each node in a circular doubly linked list contains pointers to both the next as well as the previous nodes in the list, it is easy to traverse the list in either direction. It is also easy to insert and delete elements from the nodes. Now, because each node in a circular doubly linked list contains pointer to both next as well as previous nodes, inserting and deletion becomes uh, pretty much easier than it is done in a single linked list or a doubly linked list. Now, it also takes less memory allocation. Now, circular linked list can be useful in implementing certain algorithms such as circular buffer, a hash table with separate chaining and some memory allocation strategies which is quite useful. And finally, it offers more flexibility. Now, being a dynamic data structure, in some cases, a circular doubly linked list may be more memory efficient than other data structures. For example, uh, let's say in a situation where you need to allocate and deallocate memory for nodes frequently, a circular doubly linked list may require few memory allocations than an array based data structure suppose. Now a circular doubly linked list can grow or shrink size dynamically making them useful in situation where the size of the data is unknown or varies over time to time. Now doubly uh, circular linked lists are also sometimes used in application where data needs to be accessed randomly such as in a database. For that we can use doubly circular linked list also which is which allows for a quick and easy movement to any node in the list without the need for special case handling. So these are some of the uh, reasons why we use circular doubly linked list which can provide efficient performance for certain use cases making them a valuable data structure. So let us now move ahead into uh, execution part where we'll try to execute the code of circular doubly linked list using C++. 
So as you can see, Visual Studio Code has started. So let us implement a simple uh, program of a circular doubly linked list. So implementing a circular doubly linked list. I'm just giving uh, the comments. So as usual, uh, include the header files, which is hash include IO stream and namespace S3 using namespace S3. Now, next we have to define the node structure for the circular doubly linked list. So I'm just taking a structure node inside which I will pass some parameters, which is the data that will store the values in the node. Next, we are creating two pointers, which is which point pointed to the next node and pointed to the previous node. So node asterisk previous and node asterisk next. So these are the two pointers that we are creating. And let us initialize a class here wherein we'll call some member functions, perform some operations like insertion, like adding a node and deleting a node. So I'm just taking a class, uh, let's give it circular doubly linked list. And inside that, I'm creating a private member function and I am calling the node head and creating another public function where it will create a constructor to initialize the head to the null. So this is basically uh, the code to create a circular doubly linked list. So I am passing the parameter circular doubly linked list. And inside that I am keeping head is equals to null initially. All right. So we are done with the basic part of creating a circular doubly linked list. Now next we have to create a function to add a node uh, to our circular linked list. So and for that I am just creating a function let's say void. Uh, let's say add node as a function name. So inside that I am passing a value of int type and we are creating a new node right so node new node is equals to new node so this new node will take the value of the data so new node of data so whenever you are uh, inserting a new value it will hold that data so new node of that data is equals to value all right so again we are checking if uh, the head is equal to null so that is if the list is empty we have to make the new node the head and link it to itself here so mention the if condition if head is equals to equals to null in such case head will become the new node and head of next will point to the head similarly head of previous will also point to the head else we have to find uh, otherwise to find the last node in the list and link to the new node to it as well so i am giving a else case statement where node asterisk last node is equal to the head of previous so since it is a circular linked list as well so we are giving this simultaneously so the new node of next will become the head all right and the new node of previous will become the last node new node of previous will become the last node all right now again the last node of next will point to the new node which is the basic uh, approach in order to uh, implement a circular doubly linked list here so last node of next points to the new node 
and head of previous will become the new node. All right. So we are done with uh, inserting a node to our circular W link in this. So again, let's move forward and try to create another function to remove a node within a value from the list. So void, uh, let's take the name as void remove node. And let's pass the value in value. So again, first we are checking if head is equals to null. So if the list is empty, there's nothing, nothing to remove. So if head is equals to null, so we'll just return it. So next we'll write the parameters where we'll take a node, a current node and pass it to the head value. So node current node is equals to head. Now this current node of data is not equals to any value. We will assign this current node to the next. So that is while current node of data is not equals to the value. So in that case, current node is equals to current node of next. Alright. Now what if this current node is equals to head? So if you have looped all the way around without finding any value, it's not in the list, then we have to write the condition for that as well. So if current node let's say is equals to head. So in that case, we will return the value at it. So the condition would be if current node of head current node is equals to equals to head then head will become head of next. That is if the node to, uh, to, re to be removed is the head part. So we have to set the new head to the next node. So that is why we are writing this here. So that is head will become the head of next. Now, once you have performed the deletion of that particular node, we have to link basically the adjacent nodes to each other and remove the node, right? So for that, the code would be current node of previous of next is equals to current node of next and similarly so mistake current node of next of previous is equals to current node of previous and let us delete that particular node so delete current node so that's it guys so let us now write a function to print all these uh, elements. So I am just taking a void, let's say print list as a function name. So firstly, let's check if the head is equals to none. If head is equals to equals to null, then we will simply return the value. So node current node of current node becomes the head value, right? Now we will print all the values until the current uh, node is not equals to head. So until it forms a circular loop, we will try to print the values. 
So for that we will use a do while loop. Do C out current node of so we are printing the current node of data. Alright. So which is basically current node is equals to current node of next. Node of next. Now this will continue until the current node is not equals to the head value. So while while current node is not equals to head will continue the process. So we are left with the main function. So let's just uh, create a main function and create a object for a class that we have created which is a circular doubly linked list. So I am calling the class here which is circular doubly linked list. So let us just give a name uh, object to our class. So I am just taking list as our object class and I am passing some values. So list dot now I am adding a node. So list dot add node 1 and similarly list dot add node list dot add List dot add node four. Now you can give it as per your choice, as per your requirement, how many nodes you want. So I'm just taking, let's say, five nodes here. So let's just stop once we write this final one. So list dot add node five. And finally, we will print this list. So list dot print list. So this is basically the code in order to implement the circular doubly linked list. I hope you understood. So let's just uh, run this and we will see the output. So let us execute this. So as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the elements that is printed. Now we haven't uh, used the remove node. So let's just use that as well. So let me just check remove node. So let us try to remove some uh, nodes from our circular W linked list. So remove node. Let's uh, try to delete the element 3. And similarly, list dot remove node. And let's say, let us remove 5 as well. So let us now see the output what it will be. So there was a bit error. We haven't uh, used the print list to in order to retrieve the values. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five are the elements. First we have printed, and then we are removing three and five. So it is showing only one, two, and four. Uh, you can also print in a different line since we haven't used the n uh, l uh, statement here. So it is showing the same. Uh, you can just use the n line statement to get into the next uh, you know paragraph as well. So this is how you can implement a circular doubly linked list, guys. So I hope you understood uh, the implementation, what is a circular doubly linked list, how it is used and its, uh, you know, use cases. So with that, I think we have pretty much covered about everything on circular doubly linked list. In our next tutorial, we will try to cover some basic operations that are performed on a circular linked list like uh, insertion and deletion as well as traversal and searching. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you found this tutorial informative and helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session, feel free to let us know in the comments below and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Stay tuned to the channel for more such amazing content. If you want to learn more about data structures, we have a dedicated playlist on our channel. So make sure you check that out. We will leave the link in the description below. Until next time, thank you and keep coding.